Far Cry 3 is about many different levels of insanity. It's about uh, the insanity of uh, the people living on this island who are at the edge of civilization and you know they've been on this island for 20 years, they're going crazy. Nick is not quite right yet. Well that's it, Dr. Earnhardt here, or in and out as the case may be. <laughs> yeah. Their, um, their minds are very warped. At the same time it's also about the insanity of contemporary society globalization, the clash of cultures, um, issues facing the world today. And so um, it's also about, you know, uh, the kind of insanity on a day-to-day -day level that takes place in society. The first time in the game that you have this hallucination occurs um, when you're going to get cave mushrooms to save your friend Daisy who's sick. Set us up with a couple of cave mushrooms and we will be right as rain. And um, you have it uh, because Jason is um, having kind of post-traumatic stress after having committed uh, his first kills in the game. And so he, it kind of uh, refracts and dissolves into this hallucination where he's experiencing the horror of those moments and um, at the same time uh, the horror of what brought them to the island. So he's dealing with a lot of these issues and, uh, and they're transforming him. <laughs> During the hallucination, Jason's hearing things that happened in the past. He's uh, experiencing distortions to his body, distortions to the space in which he's traveling. This is new. And uh, he's encountering his uh, inner fear. I like on the screen during the hallucination, you're seeing all kinds of distortion. The jungle is only food for you. The path leads to the heart of the jungle. Studio called. I got the role. The hallucinations in Far Cry happen at very uh, specific moments that kind of represent gateways that Jason moves through and his path towards becoming the ultimate warrior. Uh, it's not a game mechanic that gets in the way of, of your fun or that um, distorts the game experience. Shh. Promise me how to take care of you both. psychedelic buildings that shift and backwards and you're trying to get to a door and you can't get to it because it keeps moving behind. Hey Jake, you're gonna come to the house right? Yes sir, I'm busy. Yeah, I'm busy. Dr. Earnhardt? There are uh, crazy monsters in some of them. I mean, th there's not just one hallucination in the game, so I, I, uh, I'm telling you, it just gets crazier and crazier.